Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube channel. This is Laura. I'm sorry I haven't made anything on my video on my channel in a like a extremely long time. I didn't mean to just ignore it. Like I try to reply to comments when I get them. I just haven't felt like I've had anything to really add to my channel as far as the denture community. Um, other than maybe answering people's questions in a video rather than just replying to comments. Um, I don't have any problems with my dentures. They fit fine. Um, I can eat fine with them. I've never really had any problems with them. I had the same pair I got when I originally got these back in 2013. So I've been one of the lucky people who has no problems with my dentures at all and they fit just fine. Um, with that being said, I don't want to completely ignore my YouTube channel and not make any content at all. So I'm going to do some different videos that are not denture related at all. Um, I don't know what you guys like to watch, so if you don't enjoy this, you can just skip this video. You won't like it. Um, it's a haul. This is going to be a grocery haul tonight from Dylan's. Um, I live in Kansas, if you didn't already know that, and Dylan's is part of the Kroger chain of grocery stores. Um, it's a, Dylan's is a local grocery store here in Kansas. It's all over the pretty much the entire state. I don't know for sure about all of Western Kansas, but all of Kansas that I'm familiar with, it is all over here. And it was bought out by Kroger, I don't know, many, many years ago. So it's still under the name of Dylan's here, but it's in the family of Kroger. Um, so this is just a grocery haul of what I bought tonight for my groceries. And like I said, if you don't like watching these videos, that's fine. Just skip the video. You won't want to be in and enjoy it. But I like watching um, hauls of different kinds like makeup and clothing and groceries and different things like that. So I thought I would put this up here and for, for anybody that enjoys that. Sorry, I'll quit blobbing now and show you what I got. Okay, so all of this stuff besides the mess on the back of my table is stuff I got tonight in my grocery haul. And I just thought I'd go over what I got and the prices for it. So, I got a couple of great deals. Um, let's start here in the front. I got some flour tortillas. Those are just um, burrito size, eight tortillas, flour ones. Those are normally Normally $1.79. They were on sale for $1.49 today. Next thing I got was some Roma tomatoes. Those are in the bag here. There's four Roma tomatoes. Those were $0.99 cents a pound. I got a pound exactly, so that was $0.99 cents for those. Um, next thing in the receipt here was a head of lettuce. Um, again, that head of lettuce was a dollar, uh, I'm sorry, $0.99 cents, normal price. And then I got a package of yellow onions. Those were $1.69. Next thing I got was some mushrooms. I got these for a recipe. Um, just some sliced white mushrooms. Those were $2.19. And next thing on the receipt, just going back, is this can of old-fashioned oatmeal. I just get that. I don't like oatmeal, but I use it in recipes like meatloaf and different things like that. So I needed to replace that. It was $1.59. I got a package of bacon. That was normally $5.49. That was on sale today for $4.99. So that's just a package of farmland, naturally hickory smoked classic cut bacon. The next thing is right behind that is a three pound package of boneless skinless chicken breast. And that is normally $8.99. And that was on sale today at Kroger for $6.99. They do um, a thing of 10 for $10 all the time. So that was in their 10 for $10 promotions, and it was a three pound package of chicken breast for $6.99. And the next thing was frozen vegetables. I just got a package of corn that was also on that deal. It was a dollar. And the next thing I got a really good deal on these was pork chops. Uh, what does it say? That was just a small package. I just, I live by myself, so I don't need a whole lot of different stuff, but it, those were on sale for $2.49 a pound. That was 0.96 pounds, so it was $2.39. That was a really good deal for three pork chops. That'll make like three meals for me. And then I got a package of Kroger Ground Round, uh, the 85 lean 15% fat. That's a three pound package. Those are normally, I think, $10.27 was what the price was when I was gonna get that. And then I happened to see that they had ones on sale for $7.49 and it was just because it needs to be frozen by 9 22 so 
today, actually. He needs to go in the freezer. So that was fine with me. It's going in the freezer tonight. And the next thing I got was a package of shredded cheese. Just Mexican style blend, finely shredded cheese. And that was $2.89 originally, and it was on sale today for $2.49. I got a dozen eggs over here. Those were a dollar and nine cents. And then I got a thing of Kroger microwave popcorn with the movie theater butter. That's normally a dollar ninety-nine. It was six six three ounce bags. Um, that was on sale today for a dollar seventy-nine. It was part of their ten for ten dollar promotions. And then you'll see there's pasta down here. I got a thing of Kroger fettuccine. That was a dollar. And then burilla, burilla, or however you say that, spaghetti. That was also on sale. It was that's normally a dollar forty-nine. It was on sale for a dollar today. And then I got some sauce for my pastas. I got just the Kroger brand of spaghetti sauce. It's tomato and basil paste pasta sauce. That was also on sale. It's a normally $1.50. It was on sale for $1.19 today. And then I got a bottle of cooking wine, white cooking wine from Kroger brand. Um, that again is normally $2.29. It was also on sale today for $1.99. Then I got a little jar of minced garlic, just because I was out of garlic, and that was $1.89. See the little lemon there? I got some lemon juice for the recipe I need, and that was $1.79. Then I also needed some heavy cream for that recipe. Unfortunately, that was the most expensive thing today <laughs> because they were out of the Kroger brand of that. And they were out of all of the heavy whipping cream they had except a, a big container, and I didn't need that much. So this was the only one they had left was the Lando Lakes, which is fine. It was just more expensive. So that was, and I only need about half that amount. So I didn't want to get the really big one. So I just went with that one, even though it was more expensive. And the Lando Lakes was $4.29. Then I also got some cinnamon rolls. I love these things for breakfast. I, I don't usually eat breakfast except the weekends, but I love cinnamon rolls like this that you can pop in the oven and make for breakfast real fast, especially on a weekend morning. The ones with cream cheese icing are awesome. They're my favorite, no matter if it's Pillsbury, Kroger brand, whatever, they're delicious. And those were normally $1.59. They were on sale today for $1.49. I also got a little box of butter, Kroger brand, just butter sticks. And that was Normally $3.39, that was on sale for $3.19. So all of that was my haul. Don't mind all this stuff behind that. It's just stuff I have on my table right now. It's a mess. So I spent a total of $62.12 once tax was added in. Um, I had coupons. I don't really clip coupons, but I use the Dylan's app on my phone and it was and in between their sales and the coupons, it was $7.90 off. And then if you're familiar with Dylan's or Kroger, I'm not sure if all of Kroger does this, but at Dylan's anyway, you earn fuel points and with everything that you purchase before tax goes on there. So with that order today, and that was the first time I shopped there this month, so fuel points I earned 58. Once you get up to 100 points, it takes 10 cents off your gas if you buy gas at their gas stations. So they have a gas station right there at my local Dillon's. It's right down the street from my apartment. And, or you can go to, you know, the uh, the, the gas stations that they're affiliated with in where you live. Um, they also do a couple other promotions. I don't, I don't drink coffee, so I don't participate in that, but there's a coffee club you can see on there. You purchase nine hot beverages and they give you the 10 spin free every time. And that's at any quick shop, which is a convenience store here, and then Dillon's location with Coffee Central's. So, very good deal. I got a bunch of groceries. I usually buy groceries about every two weeks, as I get paid every two weeks. So this was just um, stock up on some stuff, and then I want to make a recipe, which is um, a copycat recipe from the restaurant Johnny Carino's for chicken scallopini. That's what some of these ingredients were for, like the whipping cream, and the cooking wine, and the lemon juice. Not stuff I necessarily keep on hand all the time. Just stuff I wanted to get for that recipe. And, you know, some of these like the wine and the, and the lemon juice goes into the recipes too. So anyway, that's just a quick haul of my grocery haul. I hope you guys like that. Sorry if I'm talking too much. I apologize. I was trying to make this quick, but 
there you go. If you like that and want to see more, just let me know. Thanks. I hope everybody's doing good. Bye.